Spell that out. What do you mean by a very bad outcome and worse than the Cold War? A real war. Worse than the Cold War is a real war. It will be the last war in the history of the mankind. Lisa Haven here. What you just heard was an interview with BBC and a former Russian general who served under Putin for 40 some odd years, who came out and is now saying that this could be the quote, last war. Those are bold. But not only that, but it could be worse than the Cold War. And he's saying that it could likely be sparked to the events that, that uh, we heard about earlier this month of the ex-Russian spies being poisoned, where once they were poisoned, countries all across the globe started expelling the Russian diplomats and Russian uh, people. We here in America expelled about 60 of them alone, I think over 100, one to, one to 200. Uh, I'm not exactly remembering that number, but they got expelled from countries all across. Russia even uh, expelled some of the American diplomats uh, as a result. So turmoil is really lit a blaze right now. And now we have a general coming out saying, hey, this could be the last war. Check out this report on the Daily Star, which gives a little more info, but it's Russia and the UK heading for last war in the history of mankind, warns ex-Putin general. Now that's a great article to check out and read a little more up on it. But here's something that we need to remember. Why am I bringing up this point? Because tensions right now between Russia and the United States of America are rocky. Check out this on time.com and it's titled Russia Russia's ambassador says relationships with the United States of America are worse than he can remember. The Russia ambassador to the U.S. said Friday that U.S. relationships with Russia are at their lowest point in his memory after both countries expelled each other's diplomats in an escalating dispute over the poisoning of an ex-Russian spy. Quote, it seems to me that atmosphere in Washington is poisoned. It's a toxic ass atmosphere, said the ambassador who told the Today Today's show. And he goes on, I don't remember such a bad shape of our relationships. Here's the thing we need to think about. We have a former Russian general coming out saying this is going to be the last war, right? We have uh, between, say, Russia and the UK. But we know that countries all across the globe started expelling people as a result, which means this could very well lead to a world war. Other countries are now involved in the dispute, right? And Russia did the same thing in retaliation. We could very well be headed straight and headfirst into World War III, be it that the Russian spies were, it was a false flag, be it if it was that or not, be it that they were poisoned on purpose or whatever the case may be, they are using this to ignite a war. Now, the question that has to be asked is has or does history show something like a poisoning uh, starting a war? Absolutely. Let's just go back to World War I, for example, and you can Google this and look it up to verify. But the assassination of Australian Archduke Ferdinand on June, or yeah, June 28th, 1914, was basically the flat flashpoint that started a catastrophic chain of events, if you will, that set the Australian Hungarian Empire on a collision course with Serbia right? And dragging Europe into World War I. So they were dragged into World War I as a result of an assassination on Archduke uh, Ferdinand, an Australian Archduke uh, Ferdinand in 1914. Interesting. So that's what led to World War I. Now, how do they want to get into World War III, if you will? Well, it could be set off by something like the poisoning. And I think it can very well and does scream a false flag, if you will. Uh, but nobody knows the details that surround it. And obviously there's not 100% proof either way. And that is an opinion from my point of view. But here's something we cannot forget is that superpowers are teaming up against America. China and Russia are now teaming up. These are two major superpowers that we here in America don't want to ruffle feathers by because they are nuclear powers. Check out this report put out on zerohedge.com. China defense minister in Moscow, America, must know how close Chinese and Russian armies are. But let's not forget, they're also heading head first into weapons, building hypersonic weapons. Check out this next report, cnbc.com. China and Russia are aggressively pursuing hypersonic weapons and the United States cannot defend against them. That is according to a top nuclear commander there. Huh. 
there's a lot of things on the table right now. I mean, I'm not even getting into the Middle East. I'm not getting into what's happening over there. I'm not getting into Israel. I'm specifically talking, and not even North Korea. North Korea has got a little piece of the pie too, even though things seem to be stabling a little bit, but that's not necessarily the case either. But it seems when one tension dies, another rises. It's like it always has to be on the table. World War always has to be on the table. Be it they want to push fear tactics, be it it's actually what's going on. And let's not forget that there are prophecies out there speaking of a war in the future between Russia and America. Dmitry Dudeman, Henry Gruber are the ones who spoke about these things. And you can Google that to verify. But in a nutshell, here's the terrifying thought for America. And I'm not saying things to scare you. Don't be afraid. War is always on the table, let's be honest. Uh, when we live in a chaotic, engulfed, apocalyptic style world, if you will, we're headed to biblical end times. You're gonna have chaos, you're gonna have turmoil, but you have to learn to live your life like it's still tomorrow, if you will. Uh, so you can't always take that to heart, and I wanna encourage you uh, not to freak out or panic, because that is not the idea here is just to get informed and take the information and do with it what you want and get prepared. Uh, that's why get prepared with your supplements. Get the tea.com. I have supplements on hand stocked away for that sort of vacation because your food is not going to your, your storage food is not going to have all the nutrition that you need to be up and healthy. So make sure you're stocking uh, your vitamins and supplements at well. So check out get the tea.com. But that aside, uh, I want to say that war is on the table, but we've got two superpower nuclear powerheads, Russia and China, teaming up, and we've got America over here. That's a scary combination. And so this just a heads up. Hopefully, we aren't headed into World War III. Hopefully, the poisoning doesn't spark that. But my alarm bells are going off now that you hear major generals on in America as well talking about it. Anyhow, I'd love to get your thoughts and comments on that. Uh, if you like what you heard, subscribe to the channel, share it on all your social media outlets, and give me a thumbs up below uh, as well. And keep in mind, the mainstream media isn't going to share Share any of these details with you. So make sure you're subscribing to some channel, be it mine or, or others, whoever it may be, uh, so you're getting the latest info. Well, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.